Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can get us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com. You can also reach us at 618-235-6959. And I want to show you here um, a military field phone that's being converted into a telephone for home use. Sean sent this telephone in from Tennessee and uh, this is the second video we're probably um, gonna make a couple of videos of this telephone we've done quite a few of these in the past but the videos are always so long we never get them on uh, YouTube they don't give us enough time so to show you a few things that we've been working on is on the handset um, a lot of times what happens is we have to cut this transmitter um, capsule away from the handset to get a microphone in here because the impedance is going to be different um, with our new board. So we've gotten the cap off. This one did come off. Uh, we may have to do the same thing to the receiver capsule. I've had some work and some not. So we'll just have to wait until we get to that point. Um, so that's one part of uh, what's going on with the telephone at this point. Here is the transmitter capsule and uh, that's what was removed. So that'll no longer be used. And then we have, um, we have the cap that will go back on. Some of these you can remove, some of them you can't. It just depends. Um, I've done so many of these that uh, probably about half of them the cap comes off and the other half uh, we don't get the cap off. The other thing I want to show you is the keypad. Now this is uh, supposed to be watertight and all rubber sealed and everything. Sean has stated that he put some different stickers on this uh, keypad but you can guess you know one, two, three and so on and then this was uh, zero and then probably star and pound basically or it will be anyway on a home phone but it was a telephone it was just a, a military field phone so it had all that I'm sure um, on the back here you don't want to take this apart any farther than it than I did here um, I never take it any farther than this what I do is I take these pins right here and I map them out and uh, once you map them out and you find out what pins are what, uh, then you kind of go from here. That's, uh, I guess that's why they told you to go to school because, see, this is all my chicken scratch here for uh, getting all my pins straight. And uh, you have to figure it out and map it out. So anyway... Um, I've got all that taken care of and then I'll have to map out my board that I'm going to put in uh, for the tone generator IC for the for the uh, pins you know for the uh, proper uh, keys so that's what that all looks like um, another thing that we've done is we went in and we've gotten the telephone to a point where we've taken everything out of the telephone all the boards are loose here's a here's a board that's no longer going to be used this was uh, another one of the boards that will no longer be used and then here was the main PC board um, that we removed I um, had a, a viewer call or um, write a comment about was this a microprocessor unit and it is a microprocessor unit. Any, any kind of an IC chip that does um, multi-functions and performs multi-task would be considered a, a, a microprocessor unit. So it is a pretty elaborate board. in it.
and so that will no longer be used. What we're basically going to do here now is we're going to put a different telephone uh, main PC board in here and I am also going to um, here on the side I will cut a porthole out for a modular line plug and so that you can plug any any uh, modular cord up to it, line cord, and uh, use the telephone. The other part of the telephone is right here and uh, I usually use one of these switches uh, and it's actually for the ring um, and I'll show it to you. It's an off and on and it varies the volume of the electronic ring to this telephone but it will no longer do that but it will turn the ringer off and on so there will be that option another thing that I need to talk to the customer about is we always install a light right here so that when the, we when you hang up the phone or when you're on the phone you can see a, a red or green light and we put it right in here and that way when you hang up and that light goes out you know there's no longer um, any dial tone going on and you know that your phone's not off hook because the light will go out but we're just uh, showing a second video of an ongoing process of a conversion to a military field phone and we're at this stage right now when we're just kinda taking everything apart and getting everything ready a lot of these wires that you see are wires that are going to be used again so that's why they're still in place and um, these wires come off the mic plug so they, they will be used again so we're just kind of in the process of uh, of getting the telephone squared away where we can get a a new main PC board in it for a home phone and and get this uh, conversion on its way I hope you enjoyed the video this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair A1 Electronics you can get us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com you can also reach us at 618-235-6959 and uh, I want to thank you for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it and um, this is going to be a really nice telephone when we get finished with it let me get this all back together here for you and so thank you for watching and goodbye now